Lee and Sarah each had an equal amount of money at first. After Lily spent $18 and Sarah spent $25, Lily had twice as much as Sarah. How much money did each have at first? How do I know this is a before after question? I have to identify what's before. So this is before. And then there might be some change that happened to them, which is Lily spending 18, Sarah spending 25. And the consequences would be after. And I'll be using model drawing to help you solve this question. Then the next question is, you might be wondering, should I start off by drawing my before model or should I start off by drawing my after model? Both will work. So it depends on your preference. And in this video, I'll be showing you both methods. So let's start off with before. Since they said they had equal amount of money, the model drawing, they should have the equal length. So here is my model. The next part, Lily spent $18. So I'm going to use this to represent the $18 that Lily had spent. And as for Sarah, Sarah spent a little bit more which is 25 and then now they said Lily had twice as much so let's look at Lily's remainder portion of her model which is this part this part is twice bigger than what Sarah had so which means Lily's portion is two units as for Sarah, Sarah had one unit. It might seem to you that this two units is not drawn in proportion to this one unit. Do not worry. It is because the way that we have crafted our $25 to be. So initially we could have crafted our 25 up to here. But it doesn't matter. You don't have to redraw the model because you are using unitary method to solve. So the moment that you have written down, Lily has two units, Sarah has one unit, it's fine. You will work with the units from then on. Okay, then what's next? Since Lily has two units, Sarah has one unit, which means I am able to cut off here. So I'm trying to say that Lily, this portion is one unit, same as Sarah. And that small little portion, although it's not drawn into proportion, I did it on purpose, so that portion is also one unit. Then what's next? Looking at the model. That one little unit is actually the difference of 25 and 18. It's equals to this portion. Correct? So that helps us with the first step to find one unit is 25 minus 18 which gives us 7 so after knowing one unit we have no problem solving the question because they want to know how much they each of them have at first I can use Sarah I can use Lily both method works so let's try finding Lily Lily has two units, correct? So two units, seven times two, because one unit is seven. Two units will be seven times two. And then I need to add the $18 that she had spent. So seven times two gives me 14. 14 plus 18 gives me 32. Now let's try with Sarah. Since they had equal amount of money at first, I should get the answer 32. Let's see. So Lily had, um, Sarah had one unit and another $25 that she had spent. So one unit is seven, then plus 25. And my answer is 32. Same. Okay, so now I shall move on and I will draw the model starting with after. Let's see how this works. So let's observe after. Lily had twice as much as Sarah. How do I represent it using model? 
Lily had twice, so Lily should have two portions. So here I have. So Lily twice, Sarah one unit. So I take the opportunity to write it down first. Two units and one unit. Now I'm working backwards. I'm going back to before, which is this portion. They had equal amount of money. So I have to implement that inside my model. If they have equal amount of money, it means the model should be of the same length. Am I right? So here, I'm going to draw a line down, indicating that the before model should be of this length. Okay? And the portion that's in pink is after. So I'm toggling between this before and after. Now it's time to add in the value. Lily spent $18. So this portion is 18. Sarah, 25. Okay. So we have to implement unitary method next. By looking at the model, two units is here, one unit is here, we can see this one unit is actually again the difference of 25 and 18. So again that gives us our first step to find one unit. In unitary method, it's very very important to find one unit. You have to figure it out using the model. So one unit is 25 minus 18 as shown here because this is one unit and another one unit appear in the bottom okay which is seven the rest of the steps is the same as what we have done before so with that one unit seven you can again use Lily Lily who has two units plus 18 so two times seven plus 18, 32. Or I can use Sarah. Sarah, be careful for Sarah because you might be tempted to add in that two units. But remember, look at the arrow. This one unit is inside what she had spent. So you only add the bottom here. Okay, which is seven plus 25 equals to 32. So I do both methods. Um, as in I do two calculation to check the answer.